Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. In today's reading, I wanted to explore the topic jobs, career, calling. Now, what do I mean by this? It's really interesting. Earlier in the week, I was doing a session with one of you, one of my lovely clients in the Netherlands, and this was something that came up in that reading. You know, the pro progression from jobs to career to calling. So what, what do I mean by this? I'll use me as an example. So before I used to have lots of jobs, I used to switch jobs in advertising. And now I'm not working you know in, in that industry anymore and I am working in my career I've found a career I have found something that I can do in my 90s you know I, I can read astrology charts even when I'm really old and I'm really excited to do the, to do this work it's a passion of mine it's something I love so it's really fantastic I feel like I've kind of found for myself a career so the thing about the job level is that you you kind of need the external world a bit more. So you need big corporations, you know. Uh, I couldn't do advertising without there being big companies, right? So when you find your career, there's less, less need for the outside world. And it's more about what you have inside that you are giving out or sharing. The other thing that I thought about with this topic is that it reminded me of The Office, that TV show in England, which I loved. And see, I don't watch TV, but I'll always make time for comedies. So I loved that show. And one of the things I loved in that program was this concept of one of the characters said something about, I'd rather be at the bottom of a ladder I want to climb than halfway up one that I didn't want to climb. So I think when you're at the bottom of a ladder you want to climb, I think that is your career. That's how I feel doing this work. I'm at the bottom of a ladder I really want to climb. I really want to keep going here and do this work. So that's looking at that job to career level. Now calling, what is that? Calling is a whole other level. And I think that's where you need even less of the outside world than you would in a career. And that's where you just be. And you being becomes the main thing. So that's people like you know, Eckhart Tolle, really spiritual people. You know, Nelson Mandela is even an example of, I think, of you know, a calling. So I thought we could explore that in the groups today. The other thing I want to do before we begin is it is the 11th of November and I was just watching the Aussie Cossack channel and he did a minute silence for the Aussie diggers and servicemen and men who fought in the war. And I thought, yeah, I want to do that too. And I've got with me my 5 to 8 hertz tuning fork, as you can see here. And this is the frequency of the heart chakra. So I thought, why don't we do that? Why don't we do a minute silence for Armistice Day here? And I know around the world, there'll be all kinds of um, different ceremonies and services and people holding a minute's silence. So I'll also try and get this video out today on the 11th if I can. So let's begin. All right, 
So there we go. That's our minute silence. Oh, the car just went by. Good timing car. If it came just a little bit earlier, we might have had a bit more noise. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to switch off my phone. As you can see, we're having a very gray day here in Sydney, Australia. Thick cloud and a moderate breeze. So the sun will not be playing peekaboo today, I believe. Um, but as per usual, please choose from between group one, group two, or group three, and I will see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what's happening for you work-wise. Now, before we start, I thought we'd set the scene with one of these, Archangel Gabriel deck, and one of these, some kind of elements deck. So let's see what's going on. And as with all of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. All right. Let's see what we've got here. I hope you are having a lovely day wherever you are. Oh, that one wants to come out. Good. Let's see what's going on. So. Oh, fantastic. Inspiration. It says here, yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly to set it into motion. Fantastic. Okay, so if you had a question about something, if you're wondering, if you're looking for a sign, if you're looking for, should I do this? Should I not do this? Well, you've got quite an answer here. This is saying, go for it, it seems. Let's see what this is. Oh, how fantastic. Music, joy, that's beautiful. There's a full moon. There's a violin. Okay, wow. I didn't know this card was here. That's cool. And she looks, doesn't she look like she's wearing a sari, maybe? I don't know. No, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, she does. Yeah, because she's got, okay, well, there we go. That's very interesting, very nice. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Well, we've got, we've got good old Father Time here, Saturn. Let's see what he has to say. This is my Saturn deck. For those of you who chose this, you are either brave or crazy. I don't know which. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is... A very heavy duty deck here. <laughs> Black and gold. All right, let's see what comes through. Let's have this one. Do you know, I'm also, I'm also thinking, but you did choose this deck because like five of these is going to be a bit powerful. Let's just do it. Why not? Even if we need clarifies, clarifies it, I can use another. Oh, hello. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. There she is. Right. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn that around, but I did for some reason. Okay. I'm still getting used to this whole shuffling thing, guys. I'm kind of new here. <laughs> Let's go. We'll go for five and we'll see. If we need clarifies, clarifies I can use another deck. Okay, that's weird how I just turned that around. There must be some reason for that. So why don't we, okay, she's kind of up there, I think. I don't know, we'll find out and yeah, let's see. All right, what's going on? Well, that's a great start right there. We've got the um, Eight of Cups in reverse. Nice. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't want to be seen. Hmm. That's interesting. Some Scorpio energy here. <laughs> All right, strength, fantastic. That's, well, as I say, this is Leo energy, Leo and Scorpio energy right here. Um, what do we got in here? Oh, fantastic. Well, you've got the lovers, so this is, well, this, okay, so in the context of work, uh, let's have a think about this. 
I mean, things are looking pretty good, really. And th when I saw that, the first thing that popped into my mind is that you need to give your mind a break. Like, I think you've been overusing your mind or you're working your mind too much. There's something along those lines here with this card. So, and maybe you've built a career through the use of your mind, but I, I kind of feel like you're being encouraged to explore other things. This is a card of choices. So when it comes to career, I think you've got a lot of options and I think you've got a lot more choices, perhaps more choices than you think. Perhaps you've been thinking in just one direction and that, well, career has to be this or what I do has to be like this. It's very, um, you've been over, over relying on the mind. And I think if you put your mind to rest a little bit, and this is about, I think, stepping into feminine energy. So whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter because we've all got a, our feminine side. We've all got feminine energy. And that's easy for women. Like, you know, we, it is, even though this is quite a sort of male dominated society and all that kind of thing, it's easy for women to be in their feminine energy, but for men it's harder. So if you are a man watching this, I think this is asking you to get more into your feminine energy and kind of play again, like see, yeah, find out where the fun is kind of thing. There's something like that needed. And to recognize and to realize you have a lot of options. You have a lot of choices. Now this is interesting. This is, when this is upright, this is a moving away kind of energy. You're moving away. And when it's reversed, you are coming back. So what are you coming back to? Well, in the context of Korea, I think you're coming back to the things that make you happy and, and possibly like the things that maybe light you up from childhood. So Leo is... Uh, a, a sign of childhood. What did you do when you were a kid that made you happy? You know, can you be incorporating that into what you do now? It's this type of thing. It's a really lovely spread. And I'm not getting the need for any clarifiers, but I am getting the need to go over there and get my jar of Lester Levinson. Hang on. Should have been a bit more organized today, but I'm doing this on the spur of the moment because I'm supposed to do this in the afternoon, but so let's see what Lester's got to say because we've still got quite a bit of Lester Levinson in here. Let's see what other guidance comes through. Oh, I should draw this here. There we go. All right. So this is nice. This is, I, and I think. Career-wise, I think it's just about how do you how do you bring more fun and light and love into your days? You know, um, I'm not getting a sense that you hate what you do either. That's the thing when we've got really loving, positive cards here like this. That is de that these cards are definitely showing that you're really loving what you do. So that's great. And the, but there's something of you returning. Maybe you're coming back home to your own self and to who you really are and, and what it is you want to do. You know. Okay, what does Lester have to say? All minds are interconnected. The more an individual increases his love, the more everyone is helped. Yeah, definitely. This reminds me of when I was working, I worked for a time at HSBC, and I think I've said this in one of my old picker cards. This is the problem. I always forget what I say, so I have no idea what I've said already, but um, they sat me next to this really angry guy, and I remember I was studying soul coaching and all these kind of things at that time, and and I was trying to transition out of that into me doing, you know, the, like what I'm doing now. And yeah, I remember just kind of trying to be loving inside. And he was a really angry guy. Um, 
really interesting. And I, I did see him kind of calm down a little bit over time. Well, not too much, but a little bit. It was interesting. But I didn't see it as a bad thing. A lot of, no one else wanted to be seated next to him. And I was like, that's okay. You can put me there, I don't mind. <laughs> Let's have a look. Wow. Gee, that is interesting. Okay. The world is a grand graveyard. Everything in it dies or disintegrates. Okay. Yes, that is true. Yes, and this is what's, you see, as I was saying at the beginning of the reading, I was saying that thing about not needing to rely on the outside world. That when you're in a job, you're reliant on large corporate structures being there. But when you're in a career, you're doing something that, this is, this is my take on all this, that it, you know, you're doing something that doesn't require big bulky structures in the outside world so much. You're operating more from within and you are, this, I, this is why this has come through. And it's interesting that, th mm, oh, this is fascinating. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing, okay. Got three things pop into my mind at once. Right, so this, is, you're coming back. You're coming, you're, this, that's what this is all about. And, okay, too many things, <laughs> right. So, you're coming back within. You're not gonna need big bulky structures in the outside world. You're not gonna need corporate ladders and all that kind of thing. You come in closer into yourself, you create your own ladder. And I think that's what you're gonna do. And now this is interesting because when I was trying to turn this over and for some reason it was stuck or it was difficult, and I said there's some Scorpio energy here. And it, amazingly, we've got Leo. Okay, so the strength card is Leo. This is Leo the lion. And typically in depictions, she's putting her hand in his mouth. And, um, you know, because it's something about, they say that gentle uh, power is actually stronger than like the bite of a lion. There's something like that. And it's true, love is more powerful than the bite of a, a, a lion, right? So it was interesting that to turn this over, it was difficult. So that there's something within you, you wanna be hidden or you don't wanna be seen. There's something like that here. I think maybe, and this is really interesting because this is that kind of Scorpio energy in this statement here. Everything in it dies or disintegrates. That's, that's the eighth house. So this is definitely a combination of eighth and fifth house or Scorpio and Leo really very interesting so you're being asked to shine so there's that yeah and but what's this queen of pentacles why is she, why did i put her up there i think that's because you have to kind of maybe lead with your feminine side for a bit and and do the things you love and do the things you really enjoy and that is going to, there's something in that. Maybe you need to listen to some music or play some music, inspiration. There's, there's something new here that through your feminine side, you're going to be able to tap or create. It's very exciting, group number one. I'm really excited for what's coming up for you. This is a beautiful reading. Wow, and all this kind of, even though we're using a very heavy satin deck, so much, love and light here it's really great so thank you so much for tuning in and let me know how you get on in the comments below i love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place i'm pretty sure this was your deck i've got another one here i don't think you were this other one i think you're this one well anyway you're having this <laughs> Right, so shall we shuffle? Before we shuffle, gosh, I'm all over the place today. I am not organized. Okay, we're gonna have one of these and then we're gonna have one of these. This is the Archangel Gabriel deck and this is some kind of, okay, it's the Elemental Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. So let's draw one of these. Oh, let's shuffle a bit more actually. 
We'll give it a good shuffle. Now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Because, you know, maybe not all messages are going to be for you, but some might be. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's set the scene with these two. I've also got a bit of Lester Levinson in the jar. We can take as many of those as we want. There's quite a bit. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Helping children. Beautiful. Part of your life purpose involves teaching, guiding, and helping young people. That's beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Okay. <coughs> Let's take a look at this. Oh, lovely. Silence. Snow. Wow, that's sweet. Ooh, little rabbit. Is it a rabbit? In the snow? Yep, I think so. Fantastic. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what comes as we shuffle. All right, the Emperor reversed. Boom. <laughs> he really wanted to be here. So, yeah, let's take a look. Let's see. It's good that I'm a bit of a clumsy shuffler because things like that happen. <laughs> I'm not so precise. I can do the whole, you know, when they, like, I, I can do that, that flicking thing. Where, but I don't want to ruin my cards. I do that with my Saturn deck, actually. I'll move him off. There we go. We don't need Saturnian energy here. Well, who knows? I mean, Emperor reversed. Hmm. Let's see what we've got going on. Okay. Hmm. Do I take it? Go on. Oh! Two clarifiers. All right, let's see if we need those. <laughs> Interesting. These cards are jumping out today. We want to be here. Death, rebirth, reversed. Okay, the hermit reversed. Wow. Page of Wands. Okay, don't worry about all these reversals. These are actually quite good. And we've got two clarifiers and we've got some of this. So let's see what's going on. Straight away, it's really interesting. You have a little bit of fire here that's very positive and very lovely and very nice. One of the things that this actually reminds me of is this, funnily enough, this reminds me of before I started this channel. One of the things I felt, this is very interesting. Yeah, so I'll share with you what's popped into my mind. One of the things I felt was that all the doors were closed around me. I felt in the darkness, all the doors were closed around me and there was one door that was open. So kind of like this, because we've got winter here as well. So this is fascinating. What, I, I was in the darkness and all the doors were closed around me and there was a, a tiny crack of a door that was open and above that door was the YouTube logo. <laughs> like. You have to do this now because I didn't particularly want to um, be, you know, I'd like to write the lines for someone else to present. I don't want to present it myself, that kind of thing. So I'm sensing that you might be in a situation where career wise, you might be feeling like I'm not quite sure what it is I want to do. But a, a, if you visualize this, visualize yourself in a dark, room and yes all the doors have closed around you but there is a, I'm telling you there's a door with a crack and there's light coming out of that door and there's maybe there's a logo above oh that's fascinating I just got a little bleep from my phone interesting because I don't often get things on my phone I just put that away hmm yeah there's there's a door with a crack there's light coming out just a little bit and there's something written above the door. Now, I don't know what that is. For you, you're going to have to meditate on that. And you, try this as a meditation. Try this as a meditation. Visualize that you're sat in darkness. All the doors have closed around you. There's one door open, tiny crack of light. 
what's written above. See if you can meditate on that. See if you can find out what that is. There's either something written above there or there's a symbol. There's something, okay? And I'd, be, I'd love to know what that is in the comments below. And I know for me, it was it was the, um, the YouTube thing. And I, I was applying for jobs. I was trying. I was doing this. I was doing everything. And nothing was everything was slammed shut it was just like you're not going in any of those doors and I was like I didn't I, t I tell you I didn't want to uh, I wanted the same old thing of what I was doing is what I wanted so because if you pursue this then you are going to manifest movement okay because so when this is in so this upright is burden you, you have been burdened but when it's reversed you, you might be you're resisting there's something you're resisting yes there's burden and you're resisting and what you're resisting is you're resisting this you're resisting the new now what this new thing could have something to do with you helping children this could be you starting a school this could be you there are so many people starting schools right now there are so many people pulling their kids out of school and starting up new amazing things that are very new earth and they're, they're gonna be incredible. And you know, these new kids who are getting these new, you know, being in these new structures and these new schools, they're gonna be phenomenal. They're gonna have, you know, um, yeah, all, all kinds of new things, you know, this is a real time of rebirth going on right now. The hermit is in reverse. So I think, you know, upright, you've been isolated. You, I think you've been in that dark room. Hang on, it's not focusing. Come on. I think you've been in that dark room, but, and I think you, you are going to come out of it. So it's reversed. So you are going to come out of it if you find this. Got a whole load of winter here, a whole lot of silent snow. Death and rebirth. You might be resisting. I think you've been resisting. I think life has been trying to uh, shake things up for you or like finish something off for you. But I think you're resisting that. I think you're resisting the death of something. Okay, because this is reversed. And this is, you know, the masculine power. This is the, this is the guy at the top of his game. Okay, this is the emperor. So. He's in reverse. So what, what this is, manifest, you, you have the potential to really get to the top of your game, but it might be that, yeah, and I've just heard this thing about maybe this is not the game for you. Maybe, you know, and if you do this, you, you go and you figure out what that door is with the crack of light and you figure out, okay, what, what door do I need to move through? If you do it, you're going to, he's going to come upright. Okay, and you, you, you know, you will be loving what you do. Let's take a look at the clarifiers and then we'll get a couple of bits from Lester. Wow, this has been a really interesting reading. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So interesting, we just had her upright in the previous reading. Okay, so there's, when you, when you move through that door, when you follow your heart, when you follow, you know, and this is the page of wands, this is fire energy, this is something's lit up and it's going to be new. It's a new adventure and it's going to take courage. It's going to take some risk, you know, and I tell you with the YouTube thing and I was scared. I didn't, I didn't really want to do it. I was like, oh, I don't know. I was, but that was it. That was the only thing in my life that was giving me a little bit of positive feedback. Otherwise there was nothing like it was bleak it was like yeah and interestingly oh how fascinating I had gone to the mountains and I was surrounded by snow at that time that's interesting wow okay so queen of pentacles reversed you she'll be upright if you follow the thing that you're meant to do let's see what this is nine of cups in reverse as well wow okay gosh that I've really shuffled these well and I that is amazing. Wow. Again, your happiness, you are, you're going to have this.
but it's if you walk through that door wow, wow, wow so much reversed look at that it's and it's these are like doors and they're all closed shut but you go through this one door all of these are going to upright and be amazing and look as i say this can be helping children this can be helping i mean maybe you're mentoring people in what it is you do maybe you're being a coach maybe you're leaving a line of work that you became very good at and then you decide well actually maybe i can maybe i can coach people maybe i can train people you know there's something that you can do that's really going to help people if it's not children but it's helping you know it's helping adults kind of thing but you've got something that you can teach or share with them let's see what's in here okay wow let's take them all because <laughs> i'm feeling like it's needed so three okay oh and we still have quite a bit gosh i went crazy with lester last time because i'm thinking i want to want to try someone different next week we'll see what happens i don't know Oh wow, the world is a trap, attempting to trap infinity into finiteness and impossibility. Yeah, isn't that amazing? The world is a trap. These closed doors, like this, it's something there, you're being asked, the thing that you're seeking is not outside of you. You gotta find the flame within. This work is not easy. It's so if you know. If it feels hard or scary know that that's that's natural but you've just got to kind of keep going keep going within keep working and and as I said with my example how I did it was that crack with the light coming out and with the YouTube logo above it because that was the only place I was getting like a tiny bit of feedback you know I'd put a video up and, and someone would write some nice thing you know and that is what yeah that that really that those little breadcrumbs those little tiny tiny breadcrumbs that was the only feedback i was getting breadcrumbs from the universe a friend of mine wrote that book uh she's italian and she's she lives here in, in sydney and yeah she talked about how like the universe will breadcrumb you <laughs> i know that that's a really negative term in the context of dating and things like that like it's used in a really bad way but in, in the title of her book, you know, Breadcrumbs from the Universe, she was kind of explaining that that's how the universe works. Because it's one tiny little step at a time. You can't do like one giant leap kind of thing. No, the idea is you go small, 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 and it grows and grows and grows and grows. So there's something like that with career. There's some, you need to, there will be light. There will be some evidence. There will be some little breadcrumbs somewhere. And you need to follow those. Okay, that will lead you where you need to go. Okay, let's have a look here. When the world is real, it is heavy. When the self is real, the world is light. Yes, you don't need the world outside. Look at how much is upside down here. Look at all this is kind of saying, yeah, the world, you're not going to find the answers out there. So this is, this is a very spiritual quest as well for you at this stage. And you follow this. You follow what's within. You follow that tiny little inkling, that tiny place where you're getting a little bit of positive feedback. Follow that. Okay, let's see, what's this one now? Gosh, we're going over time here, but that's good. I think this is needed. Okay, so we've got here, feeling sad about anything is holding on to it. Say, this is something I have to let go of and immediately you will feel better. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. If you're sat there in the darkness and you can't find the crack of light, feel the darkness, you know, just feel, just it will, it will move through. It passes. You just be with it, you know, just, just sit there and be true. Be true. Be real. If you're sad, be sad, you know, it's natural. It's nature. These are nature's ways. Look at this. There's no growth here. There's just snow and bare trees. So you, you are going through something where, and you you know, it, it might take a few weeks, a few months for the little green, the little buds to come through, but they will come through. 
And that's why we tune into spiritual people and that kind of thing, because they are always saying, you know, interesting, there are people out front walking on the footpath and they're talking very loudly. See, the movement is coming. You being on the scene, chatting with people, doing stuff, all that kind of thing, that's going to happen, right? So, you know, it might seem like things are too quiet or, you know, that there's something wrong, but no, maybe everything is exactly as it should be. And you have you just be with it. Be with it. It's going to pass. It's going to change. It really is. And as I say, spiritual people watch, you know, Eckhart Tolle and, and all the good spiritual people there, and they will always keep reminding you that, yeah, I'm getting sort of nothing is permanent. Things change. So the darkness is not permanent. It's going to change. And, oh, I'm telling you now, when it changes, look at, sorry about that, it got cut. So I was saying when it changes, Look at what you have to look forward to. Isn't that amazing? The camera cut out. That doesn't often happen in one of these. Wow. So yeah, it's like something cuts and then boom, look what you, you're going to, this, this, you've manifested this. And this in its upright position is what you're going to have to look forward to. Group two, I'm so excited for you. So hang in there, keep going. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Do you know, everything was just about reversed in last time. I'm, I'm going to do this on camera. What I do is I twist all of these. <laughs> I don't do the flicky thing that other readers do because I want to keep my cards straight. I did the flicky thing with this deck. It works here because these are plastic. So, <laughs> oh dear. so I mean, see, we're getting our reversals this way. That's how I do it. I haven't seen anyone else do that. That's, that's what I do. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of reversals we get through here. Because yeah, group two was, whoa. That was, by, that was by design. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> that's the fact of this stuff. I'm just here. Um, interesting. Okay, we'll draw that first. But let's, I, I should be drawing these, I am all over the place today. Wow. I'm not grounded. I need to feel my feet. That's what's going on. I'm too much in my head. Okay. <laughs> I need a day at the beach, but that's an impossibility. Whoops. It will happen. It will definitely happen. And I will take you with me. All right. So let's see. Oh, wow. We had this. Okay, so you're going to get some inspiration too. We had this in group number one. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly and set it into motion. So if you were looking for a yes or no, if you're looking for a sign or if you're looking for, should I do this? Or well, the answer is yes here. So that's good. Um, let's see what this is. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, fury, bushfires. Right, cool. Because stuff's going to burn down to the ground and you're going to have a lot of new growth. So let's see. So we have that came out earlier. We're going to have five of these. Did I say my spiel about take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't? That's how ungrounded I am today. I don't even know. <laughs> that is a slight issue I have actually you know, sometimes I don't remember what I say and then you start you get paranoid you're like oh god what have I said <laughs> I don't know okay right these are big let's turn them over one by one. Oh, this is nice good oh we've got a lot of fire on the table wow okay this is the knight of wands Ooh, fast energy. And look, fast and furious. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Three of wands. Okay, well, can't get too much more fire than this. Be if one of these is fire, I will, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> the um, ace of cups in reverse. Finally, some water. Yay in reverse but that's okay oh my, okay now that's um page of 
Page of Pentacles, okay. Interesting, it's in reverse. Oh, beautiful, Seven of Cups. Oh, this is great to get in a career reading. This is excellent because you've got a lot of choices. So I said that for group one as well. They have a lot of choices too because the lovers is, you know, that's choices. But this is very literally choices. And it's kind of, it's an interesting one because if you have a look, you know, so, some of these things are really wonderful, but some of these things, you know, maybe you, you might not be so keen on. But you are, you're seeing, you're under no illusions. You're seeing what's out there accurately. Hmm, there is a lot of fire here. Yeah, and I'm drawn to this visionary. You're seeing accurately, you know the world, you know what's possible. But I think there is possibly some indecision. Three of Wands, you are looking out to the horizon. You are strategizing, you are trying to figure it all out. But I, I do think you're being asked to act. Something you're doing, something you need to speed it up or you need to act or you need to do something. There's something you need to do and yeah, I'm kind of seeing that like it would be good for you to get out of this mode here. So I think maybe maybe in recent times you've been, this, this can be fantasizing as well, you, you kind of looking at the options of career or oh I'd love to do this or I'd love to do this or but like I think you're being asked and shown to get quite practical and real about your strategizing and to get on with it this is a bit of a get on with it message and this is also a message of if you if something needs to go from your life really let it go and I think this is also a message of be swift about it as well. Be swift about burning to the ground what you don't need or what no longer serves you. Really let that go. There's some something there. And this get on with it message. There's a big get on with it message. There's a big, yeah, I'm hearing sort of hurry up in my head a little bit, but it's not like it's, don't feel like you have to. This is not asking you to work harder it is kind of work smarter and swifter there's something there is something about speed and speeding up there is that need now these are in the reverse position i think i'll get a couple of clarifiers on those actually because i'm not too sure what these are because this is kind of love in reverse so maybe there's something about what you are doing career-wise that you're not You, you don't um, you're not too wild about it like yeah there's something as part of your career or something about what you do at the moment you're not kind of in love with your work sort of thing and the page of pentacles in reverse this is new sources of income so you do want that to come in but there's something about yeah these new sources of income it's like I am just again in my head. I got something needs to be burnt to the ground first. It's like, and this could this could even be clutter clearing. <laughs> this could even be that as simple as that. Maybe you need to clutter clear your place. And if you do that, you're creating space for the new income to come in, or the new income stream, or the new thing that that wants to come in. There is a lot of flow, a lot of good feeling here that wants to come in. Let's get, let's just get one clarifier on that and then we'll see if we need another one. We'll get some words from Lester as well. Oh, let's get two. Okay. Ooh, the fool. Yeah, something new wants to come in. Wow, that's great. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, the 10 of wands in reverse. Yeah, fire again. 
but it's in reverse this is what this is you got it there's some burden there's something burden there's something heavy and you need to burn this to the ground you need to let it go there's something that has to go there's something that's bur burdening you and maybe you're resisting letting it go and this is quite a strong message of let it go when you let it go the new inspiration is going to come in new path is going to open new source of income is going to come in and you are going to love what you do imagine that imagine absolutely loving what you do and I, I feel that way of what I'm doing right now. I love it. I love all the different bits of it. I get to make this video. I get to make another type of video. I get to do readings. And, you know, it's cool. I'm having a good time. So, And you'll be in that space too where you love everything about what you do. And I feel like right now there's a component. I don't think you're not loving um, the whole thing. I, I, think, I think you do love what you do, but there's some component of what you do that you're not happy with at the moment. It could actually, this could actually be to do with co-workers and teammates. Yeah. And there is fresh new energy and a new start that wants to come in. Let's see what Lester has to say. Okay. Let's take all of these. How many have we got left? Yeah, I might put those on Instagram. <laughs> Okay, Let's see what this is. Wow, this is cool. Being yourself is easy. Being an ego is difficult. Okay, being an ego, that's the people around you. I think you're having some conflict or something. Something's not right with the people around you at work. There's something along these lines. Because uh, I don't see that as you. I think you are being yourself and I think you've got some difficult teammates, co-workers or something like that. Some things, something's not quite right in the work atmosphere. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, what we got? Everyone should be your friend. We've got to attain equal mindedness toward all beings to reach the top. That is interesting. Yeah, this is, I think all the really good people who excel at work, they view everybody around them in that way. And I suspect, I, I think you are doing that, but this is a good principle to, to really get good at. I remember when I was working in, there was a big ad agency I worked in and um, one of the guys, everyone wanted to fire him. They didn't want him there and I remember thinking that, well, if I want to be a manager one day, I, I would need to know how to manage everybody, even the difficult people. So I tried to, uh, and you can see it, I was always a bit of a light worker, sort of, you know, anyway, but like, so I, I used to try to figure out, okay, how can I, like, can I befriend him? Yeah, and I did, you know, and he, he got in touch with me, like, oh, this was like a few months ago or last year or something and he, he said oh we've got a project do you want to join like he'll always remember me and you know um yeah it was it was cool and that was years later you know he hadn't spoken to me for a really long time so I like this concept a lot and I think and this is very sixth house stuff very sixth house Virgo type stuff there with that because that's the house of competition. And make, and make all of your competition your friend. That's the way forward. That, that, yeah, it works. Not easy, sometimes very difficult. Okay. But that's, that's a cool challenge. That's good to recognize it's difficult, but you know, to have a go anyway. Uh, okay, so if you will take full responsibility for feeling bad, you will feel like a master. Yeah, so again, this is, you own all your stuff, that that person is not causing this negative emotion in me. The emotion is mine. You know, an outside person can't make you feel bad. This stuff is not easy to do, <laughs> okay? I have been reading about it for a very long time, for many, many years, and this stuff is hard to really practice it. Okay, and it's a, it's a quote like this. 
It's written beautifully and explained simply. But to really do it is a whole other thing. And that's the work we come to do. That's actually, our, this is our real job, to do the spiritual work. And I think you're doing it. I think when it comes to this jobs, career calling thing, I think you know that the real work is, is spiritual and energetic. And it doesn't matter, you know, what's in the external or who's around you. You know that this is the place to be. And if you can be neutral in this situation, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good thing. And you will have the fresh start. You are going to have this. There's a new fresh start really wanting to come in. I don't feel like it's far away either. Fresh start, new level of wealth, new level of earning. Could be a promotion step up new income stream, all kinds of things. That is going to come in for you uh, along with this, this new beginning. So group number three, thank you so much for tuning in. All of these have been a bit long today, but that's, that's good. Um, let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to know. And I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>